Hey guys, que pasa? What's up? It's your friend Keith, and I am live again in the control room at Essex Recording Studios, just outside London in England, and I've got one of the coolest Asian super strats we've ever had in the studio. I'm going to tell you all about it. If you're new to the channel, click like, click subscribe, come join our circle of friends. You're going to see some rad guitars that I get from all around the world. So today, friends, we've got the ESP LTD SN1000. What does SN stand for? Snapper. Snapper is what ESP has designated their Strat line of guitars. This body shape is called the Snapper. Um, as you can see, absolutely intense, crazy flame job on this maple top. And you can see how thick the maple top is. The uh, the finish is just amazing. If, if this was a Gibson, it would be, you know, an extra two grand to get whatever variant you were looking at. I'm just going to go back and forth so you can see these tiger stripes kind of appear and disappear. You know, it's not just some photo veneer this is very much three-dimensional and holographic you can see these stripes get thicker and thinner and disappear and reappear and you can see the the vertical grain as well coming through i just had a 60th anniversary flame top gibson 59 les paul custom shop and i mean that thing is crazy crazy money in dollars terms they're near ten thousand um, dollars and it has it, it doesn't have a top as good as this wow floyd rose special and then you've got this great emg humbucker single single set spoke wheel truss rod adjustment the best design ever 24 frets with gorgeous abalone dot inlays really colorful it just looks premium and i mean come on really you can see what they're taking on is they're doing the more aggressive version of a fender american deluxe strat this thing is one of those on steroids and looks much cooler interesting headstock logo is matte and kind of subdued so you've got this glossy top with this striking, very three-dimensional wood grain pattern and these abalone inlays that really pop. And then you've got a matte subdued LTD logo here. Kind of an interesting contrast. You know, there's no gloss finish on the headstock, but it looks very modern, which is, I guess, what they're going for here. That's I look at this, I look at the, you know, there's no pickup rings. Everything looks super, super modern on this. Tremolo has been upgraded for a push-in type. Whoever did that is my all-time favorite person because, boom, you're in, that's it. No more threading things through and, like, uh, you know, scratching your guitar because you're, you don't know exactly when that tremolo arm is going to unscrew and come out but the original tremolo bar is in the storage compartment here if you want to convert it back to the screw type you've got your roller coaster seat belt strap there that's what i call it a little old school buckle lock there and on the back oh this neck feels great again it, no gloss finish so it's very fast it just has a satin sheen to it. Designed by ESP, you can see it's got Grover. Black Grover. Is it Grover or Godo? No, Grover. Wow, that's pretty wild. Black Grover tuners, which is rather unheard of on the ESPs. Always Godos or ESP branded. So, again, premium and definitely going after the American Strat buyers with that kind of hardware. And 
you can see this is built in Korea in 2016. So I don't think ESP makes guitars in Korea anymore. I think they moved their production to Indonesia, like a lot of the other brands. Um, Korea is a very modern, very developed country, as is Japan. And I imagine it's to cut down on labor costs. But uh, so I think you're looking at like one of the last high line, top, top, top models to come outside of Japan from their Korean factory. This thing is stunning. I mean, mint condition. It has maybe a few little swirl marks on the back and fingerprints, but I don't see any chips or, you know, dings or anything like that anywhere. If there are any very, very minor. And just smooth, one-piece maple neck. Kind of like those old early 60s strats. Very comfortable guitar to play, and you have a British-made Hiscox case. How do you like that? Doesn't get much better, guys. Love the color on this. I can't get over it. This is uh, totally unreal for a Korean spec guitar. This has got to be the best Korean guitar um, I've ever seen. Between, I mean, these EMGs are expensive. You've got a Floyd Rose tremolo. The, the flame top, the abalone inlays, and just the Grover tuners, and then this Hiscox case. Man, really an awesome guitar for the money. All right, guys, well, I'm going to get going. If you're uh, feeling lonely, follow us on the socials. It's at Essex Recording Studios on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all that good stuff. Shoot me a message. If you want to buy this guitar... It's for sale on Reverb.com, our good friends at Reverb. Also on our website, EssexRecordingStudios.com. Just go to the shop section, you'll see this and many other guitars. When I get back tomorrow, I'm going to wrap up the Megadeth collection for you. All right, we've got some cool acoustics, a banjo, a Gretsch Dobro that was owned by Dave Mustaine. I'm going to go knock out these videos and, and show you the rest of it. Here's the Dobro right here. Very cool. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Stick around on the channel. Go explore. We've got about a thousand, literally a thousand videos on the channel. So there's going to be something really cool you haven't seen before. All right. I'll catch you later. Bye.